great land of yours. We come today to celebrate you, Lord. For you alone are worthy. I will bless you, Lord. I will bless you, Lord. I bless you when I'm up. And I definitely bless you when I'm down, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, right now, God, we, we're having a watch party right now. We're, we're, we're looking over this land. We're, we're coming to celebrate you today. And we need for you to be in the midst, God. This is your house. This is your house, God. This is your house. This is your house. And God, we yield to your will. We yield to your way. Over our lives. Whatever you do in this season, God, please don't do it without us. God, have your way in our lives. Have your way in our lives. So many are sick and afflicted. Hallelujah. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we need your help, Lord. We need your help, Lord.
St. Mark's 11 and 22, and I'm going to ask Pastor Charles what he read for us on today. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. And as I depart from the stage, I'm going to ask the praise team when they come take position and get your mics. Your mics have been sanitized. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Mark 11th chapter, verse 22 to 26. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say to you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have all against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Set me on fire 
have your way, Father God. Oh God, we thank you right now for stopping by right now, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In times like these, we need you, Lord. All right, right for you. Are.
It's not going to be long. Amen. I, I love the book of Nehemiah because it's one of the, the, the stories I love to tell. And I normally preach this. I normally preach on Silver Bridge. And I will mention that in just a moment also. But um, there's some things in our life that are happening today that we got to understand that, look, these are just stumbling blocks. And we can use those stumbling blocks as stepping stones. And we can use those stumbling blocks as building blocks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you ever needed anything to prop anything up, you'll go outside and look for a stone. Now, if I can find a stone big enough to prop this up, hallelujah, everything will be all right, hallelujah. We can build from this thing too, hallelujah. There's some things about it we can't understand right now, hallelujah, but we can build from this thing too. We got all of our scientists and all of our, all of our doctors and all of them. He can take what was burned. 
Hallelujah. Come on, preacher. The enemies of God to man to Beth. The Ammonite, to buy the Ammonite was by him. And he said, even that which was built, if a fox go up, he should even break down that stone wall. Somebody say it ain't gonna break. Ain't gonna break. Ain't we can build from this too. Hallelujah. Read from the text of Charles. Hear, O our God, for we will, we will, our, oh my God, help me Jesus. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Come on. And cover not their iniquity, and let not their sins be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. Yes. Look, people of God, we can build from this thing too. Yes. The thing is, if we have a mind to work. A mind to work. I've learned through this trimester as a pastor, as a leader, coming to this day, whether or not should we be obedient or disobedient. And I remind God reminded me of a word where obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if they say ten, they will come ten deep. Yes. Hallelujah. When two or three are got to the degree and in the midst, hallelujah. God said, I'm in the midst of his people. Yes. Boy, yes. He's already in this house. Yes. And then the people that are watching through Facebook Live, hallelujah. God is in the place today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God is in the place today. Yes. Hallelujah. So, so when I what's going on today, I think about what God is doing now. What do we do now? What do we do from all these broken pieces? Do we allow it to just lay there? Or do we build from it? We build from it. We pick up what we left off. We keep on building. And we don't let the devil stop us. We keep building our plans. We keep building Thank you. 
no hold. It's just singing and preaching and waiting to come out. So when somebody crossed your path the wrong way, that priest will open all the way up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's a preach. That's a preach. That's a preach. So when they, when they realized that we were sealing the breaches, it's something that Watching the doors. Uh -huh. They know that they will be locking their windows. Hallelujah. But if there's a priest in the house, see, 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 now if I talk about rodents, mice, and some of us we get those in the wintertime because they look for warm places. They don't come in through the door. They come in through preachers in the house. Hallelujah. So if there's a preacher in the house. Hallelujah. They'll come through that preach. Oh my God, hallelujah. This is how the enemy lay in wait. He lay in wait till you turn off the lights. And when all the lights go out, he'll come out the... Hallelujah. Oh, so look. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the enemy the land in breach. Because when that child rises up against you, mama, when that child rises up against you, daddy, hallelujah, the enemy is going to come right on yeah. up that bridge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's going to take, try to take you out of your character. And if you allow it to take you out of your character, that wall that they talked about the doctor, you come totally right back down. Yeah. That place that you 
every once in a while, the, the building inspector would go around, he would inspect buildings. Uh -huh. And he would look up and he would look at the chimneys and he would look at the brick walls of the building. And he would, he would get back with the owner of the building and say, look, you need tuck pony. Because sometimes between the bricks and the mortar, it has came loose. And between the bricks and the mortar, it has became a hole. And that hole has now become a brick. We have 
have to be obedient yes. unto this order. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, it can't stop our praise. Even though there are businesses are closing down and some businesses are staying open, some things we understand right now. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that are that are essential to our survival. Food. Some of us may be working in places that plays a big part in distributing certain products is essential to our survival. So that goes to show you right there is that we're going to build from this thing because we're not going to let it beat us. We're going to beat it. And the way we're going to beat it, it is that we're going to keep the numbers down because in the past when we didn't have the technology we had today something like this have, would have spread it more vast than it is right now. It would have killed more people than it has killed even now. But because God has brought us from a mighty long way, yes. we know how to get the word out. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That it's time to quarantine ourselves. Hallelujah. But through it all, we're building from this too. Hallelujah. We're learning to make sure that there's no more breaches in our land. Look, I want everybody to join me next week Sunday as we go to part two of this. Hallelujah. Because the enemies of God want you to think that it's over. But it ain't over until God says it's over. Come on, everybody lift their hands all over the place. Spirit of the living God, we thank and praise you for this word. Lord, you are teaching us that we can build from this too. In fact, in fact, Lord, I hear you. I'm going to wear a shirt next week. We can build from this too. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get it in great big letters. So when people ask me what you mean we can build from this, we can build from this thing that's going on right now too. Hallelujah. I may can't touch you. I may can't hug you, but we can build from this thing too. I may can't visit you in the hospital, but we're building from this thing too. Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the land. Lord, I want you to touch your people in the living rooms right now. Touch your people right now in the dining room. Touch your people right now, God. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. God, I want you to touch us that are here right now. To produce an atmosphere that's conducive to yours, God. We give you praise. We ask that you just have your way, God, throughout all this land. God, I'm asking that you will bless this community, God. Every drug addicted person, every prostitute, every lost soul, God touch the sick and afflicted right now. I'm asking for healing and I'm asking for deliverance. I'm asking for your people to be made whole. I'm asking God that you will cancel the plans of the enemy right now. That your will may be done in this land. We need you. We need your help, Lord. I stand in the position of intercession as I intercede for your people right now that are not here. I'm believing in God right now, God, that there's a releasing of miracles in your name. That every person that's laying on life support, not just for the coronavirus, but dealing with anything, God, I'm asking that you would heal right now. I'm asking that you would touch that person that's in the coma. I speak life, wake them up right now. I'm asking 
that you would touch that person down, hallelujah. That don't have no place to go. God, open doors right now. Seal the breaches of this great land of yours, God. That there will be no more visible or invisible enemies. But no longer have the power to attack. Your people in such a way as this. I pray for the government, the leaders of this country, God, that they will continue to do the work that they're called to do. And God, that you will give the president the right words to say and how to say them. That you will touch the leaders, guide their hearts, help them to make the right decisions. God, I'm asking the God that those barber shops and those petition shops that have been closed. I pray right now, God, that you will open those doors back for them. That none of them will lose their business. None of them will lose their purity. There's a plan and process. That there will be no wrongs, that there will just be a blessing, a loss, or whatever they will lose during this time, God. God, I'm asking that you will give it back to them one hundred fold. Meet the needs of your people right now. As we come together to build from this tomb. I want everybody to repeat that to me. Lord, forgive me. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. And I thank you for another chance. In Jesus' name. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and bind with each of us until we meet again. Let the church say, Amen.